Some maps are long since forgotten, others are one-hit wonders. And sometimes the maps just have to be recreated or reimagined. Today we're going back in time to the Halo CE map, Hainem High. In this true one-to-one -one scale remake, we're going to talk to the creator, an evil Spartan. And he's going to shed some light on how he created this truly awesome work of art. I'm Zero Knight 709 let's get started. Hey Evil Spartan, how you doing today? Doing good. Well, that's great to hear. So, man, this is a crazy, incredible map. How did you create this work of art here? Oh, I knew that I wanted to get it one-to-one, -one, so I pretty much measured high noon from reach and then did a bit of uh, conversions with using the meter defeat thing from uh, CE. The objectives have their own waypoints on them, so I could put them in corners nice. and measure from there. Nice. So this is a true one-to-one -one scale, so how does that differ from a regular remake? One-to-one -one scale means it's as close to the original map dimensions as possible while a regular remake could be resized or reimagined a bit. Very nice. I see that this isn't your, really your first work in doing remakes, but is this truly like your favorite or first remake map? True one-to-one -one scale, that is. I have been doing Derelict since Halo Reach, and I've gotten fairly close in one-to-one -one with those despite the uh, item constraints. This is the first time I've done a uh, large-ish remake, considering how both tall and uh, spread out it is. Very nice. So, tell me, this is honestly one of my favorite maps out there. I'm sure it's been a favorite map for a lot of people. Personally, I remember my very first spawn point, so how did you like get everything the way it is is this actual like we you put the spawns exactly where they were on the first one the exact spawns except for team spawns are the same i actually had a uh friend who could look up spawns on a uh, website called halospawns.com and it actually shows where the spawns are on i believe the pc version of ce and what I did to augment that is pretty much suicide my character every time I was in a solo game on Hainem High. Then I got the rest there. That is incredible and a high level of dedication. I know a lot of people will be afraid to kill themselves once, even in a custom game, just due to their stats alone. Tell me, what yeah. got you into like doing this sort of stuff? Like, how, Why would you go into... Why... Forge for you. I'm a CE kid. I was one of those who absolutely fucking hated Halo 2. 3 was a little better, but eh. With Forge, we could make the maps that we want. And I just so happened to love the CE maps. But when Reach came out, it became much more user-friendly. And that was at the point we actually had the, uh, Five shot magnum. Nice. So it kind of worked out there. Very nice. So tell me, how many people would you recommend for a map of this size? It's humongous. Bungie, in all their uh, map making glory, but four to 12 players. I think it works 3v3 CTF better than uh, any player count. You could go up to 5v5, though, comfortably. Wow, that is actually really good. So, tell me, would you actually recommend playing, like, Halo 5 game style on a map like this, or is it best played when we use CE? Oh, it's best played using CE settings. However, a lot of uh, the new stuff does work with the map such as clamber. You could use tombstones as a stepping stone to clamber up onto top of other stuff. Or you could just clamber directly up onto other things. 
you can use Sprint, Thrust, and Stabilize to go from the topmost levels across the uh, Snipe Ledge all the way from each other, pretty much. Very nice. So, question, when you created these maps, how long did it take you to actually create it from very beginning, like first, like just the thought of it, to its birth? to its standpoint it is right now. I had it planned out in February, about mid-February. And I got done with it about May. Wow. That is quite a long time. How many hours do you think you put in this one map? This one map? I've probably put a full day into it. That's that about is, average that I can tell. That is absolutely crazy. That is crazy right there. And you are truly a servant at what you do. So tell me, after you've created this map, what is your plans so on far as doing uh, other maps out there? I actually plan on doing several others. Mm, I Myself and one of my friends co-forged Damnation to scale. Recently, I have done Wizard as well. I got to recheck that though because I'm not quite sure. Uh, Longest is in progress, and I plan on doing Prisoner and Blood Gulch at the very least. Well, very excellent work, and based off what you said right there, we'll probably see you on the show yet again. And also to everyone out there, Huge shout out to Evil Spartan right here. He actually helps create some of our set designs that you see on a lot of our other shows out here on Unintentional Gaming. Spartan, as always, excellent work. Thanks for coming on the show today. Yeah. Now, uh, I don't know about you, but uh, I think that rocket launcher over there is calling your name, and uh, we need to go kill some noobs. guys thank you so much for watching don't forget to click here to go ahead and download the latest map from an evil spartan the true remake of hanem high is available to you now through the file browser and through forge hub don't forget to check out the rest of the shows on our channel and remember to like comment and subscribe for more stuff until next time this is zero night 709 and we're just getting started unintentional gamers later Halo 5 and Forge are owned by 343 Industries and Microsoft. We do not own anything. This series is for non-profit. Please support the official release. And don't sue us.